Yeah, people. Welcome to another day with us here at JSH Rabbits. We're out here. We now go in till a curfew time. But stick and stay. We have something special coming up for you. Stay tuned. here on the toll well not the toll on the end of the toll and we just collect some food we're going to sample it right now see we're actually overlooking the construction of the the mapen to Williamsfield leg of the the highway you guys will see the food I'm talking about shortly yeah so we in the car people just stop a little bit um you hear me talking about this food this food this food but what is this food i'm talking about do you know people may i tell you say me in the car and the food the, the smell of the food just strong but i'm not going to keep you in suspense much longer we're going to link up with samuel now but before he comes we're gonna look at the food. What is this food? You might be asking. All right, so this is bourbon barbecue rabbit with some nice sides, you know? Your potato and your vegetables and stuff, you know? All right, now we're going to sample it. Looks good. Smells good and trust me, I hope it tastes as good as it smells. I've been getting some good reviews from persons who sampled it, who tried it, and they are saying that it's good. So I'm hoping my taste buds will be surprised. Samuel is here. Um there is his car in the back there. So I'm just going to wait for him to come and collect his food. Yeah, there he is coming. Yeah, see boss here. Yeah man, big up on yourself, you know. Yeah. Big up on yourself, you know. Yeah. Do I look a sampling, you know? Yeah man, we are gonna eat with food, you know. Yeah, yeah people, we are on the road. We are moving, so we don't have a lot of time. So I'm actually going to move from here now and go home where I can set up and eat this food, sample it properly. Now I'm gonna lie still in a people. A teeth, a little piece and taste it and trust me. But right now people it's food time. So we're ready to dig into this food. But before I even do that, we're going to talk a little bit about how I came to have this food in the first place. So basically, we are a part of a WhatsApp group of rabbit farmers and they pitched the idea of having a rabbit round robin, so to speak, where us as rabbit farmers come together and, you know, we put on a little event, we cook some rabbit and we support each other, give each other strength, you know. So, Mrs. Sterling, you know, kicked off the first leg of the, um, Rabbit Round Robin and Mrs. Sterling is located in Kingston and um, part of Chisholm Avenue and he does this sort of thing from time to time. So he kicked off the first leg and he prepared a, a menu and what we got was actually the bourbon barbecue rabbit and that came with Spanish rice, macaroni and cheese, potato salad a vegetable de jour and a cup of rabbit soup which we are going to to sample now so even though we are in Clarendon we made some arrangements and we got our food transported from Kingston to us 
um it's here in live and in living color it look good it smell good it tastes good too <laughs> but we're going to have some more of it now and i'm going to give you a proper feedback all right food time we say people so okay here goes so i'm going to try the soup you know and typically you know a lot of times when you go out um you know most jamaican you know get a little soup to kind of wet the appetite first before you actually start eating and right now i'm actually salivating because you know i'm excited uh Yeah, the soup is good. Yeah man, the soup good. The soup is nice. I should have actually made it a little bit hotter. And you know, I reheated it a bit. But this is not bad. This is this is good. Of course, this is not a heavy soup. It's a light soup. Um but despite that it tastes good mm. Mm. this is really good what i should point out too is that mr sterling is actually a caterer so if you guys are in need of a caterer i can leave his contact information in the description or you know put up the post of the round robin so you guys can um make contact with mr sterling if you need to as i was saying earlier this is just the first leg of the round robin so there should be others down the line um i think the next one will probably be held in may um of course that means that the chef may be different and the venue may be different so we're still looking forward to participating and you know being a part of whatever the rabbit farmers come up with and sampling rabbit dishes from different chefs um, in different locations food time ready to to dig in all right so i chose the the bourbon barbecue because i am i am tired of having rabbit curry so what was on the menu was curried rabbit bourbon barbecue and fish i don't like fish so i decided to go with the bourbon barbecue i don't think i've ever had barbecued rabbit before so i'm going to try that so i'm trying the rice rice is pretty good man i should have had a spoon i'd be all over this right now mm -hmm. this is good this is good did i say that mr sterling was a caterer yeah mr sterling is a caterer so trust me food tastes good vegetable tastes good mm. The vegetable is good and um, man this is like a a combination of so many of my favorite things i like rice i like potato salad i like macaroni and cheese vegetables mm, and i like rabbit so this is a combination of my favorite things mm. this is good mm. i'm gonna try the potato salad now is good potato salad is good mm. oh, 
This is very good. It almost seems like I'm exaggerating, but I'm not. This is really good. And you know, I've actually spoken to a couple other persons who actually sampled the, 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 the cookings today, the niamins, as we would say in Jamaica. And trust me, they were blown away. Um, I don't know. Mr. Sterling is really talented and as I said, he does his catering so if you are in need of a caterer you can link up Mr. Sterling he is worth the money Macaroni and cheese is good too mm. One of the things that I talk about, you know, is that Persons are nervous to cook rabbit and cooking rabbit is actually really simple A lot of the ways that you cook chicken you can actually cook rabbit and Rabbit is often seen as like a, a replacement for chicken So to speak um, I am not a chef and I have cooked rabbit before and it's relatively easy, it's not that hard. Mm. Man, so up. Yeah, so um the food code. Um so one of the things that I would like to see is actually more people cooking rabbit. I believe that the more people cook it, the more people will eat it. And persons tend to shy away sometimes from eating rabbit. And I think that's a, a misconception or a mistake. Because, I mean, it tastes, it doesn't have a strong taste. And, you know, we can fashion it to, to taste a certain way or, and so forth. So persons shouldn't be mis persons shouldn't have the misconception about eating rabbit. But I think that primarily comes from the idea that rabbit is typically seen as a pet and well a pet here in Jamaica. But at the same time, chicken can be a pet. Um, goat can be a pet, fish can be a pet, and people eat those, so I don't see what the big deal is with oh, with rabbits. So, right now, we're going to take a big bite out of the rabbit. Mm. This is good. It kind of has a, a taste that I can't really describe it, but it kind of has a like a, a tangy kind of taste at first, and then it taste kind of changes to something else, and then it kind of it tastes kind of spicy too. But either way tastes good um, I'm digging into a nice meaty piece but this piece This piece actually has a few bones, so I'm wondering if 
maybe there's a situation where the meat could be deboned to some extent and then barbecued. But not bad, not bad at all. Mr. Sterling, big up yourself. Mm -hmm. Man. I should have bought two for myself. And you know, the person who delivered the food to me, you know, they were saying that boys, for in, when you taste this, you know, you're not going to want to give someone this share. But I was saying to myself that, you know what, I'm not going to be mean. Both of us, um, I wanted both of us to sample it. So I got enough for both of us. Um, trust me, I'm not disappointed, which is really good. So, we're closing out the video with our soup. Um, very good as usual, and I was not disappointed. Food sell off, yes. Yeah, so. I actually plan to do more of these type of videos where we go out and we sample um, rabbit meat prepared by different persons. I think that would be a good experience for me and you know something that the viewers would want to see. I think the next round robin should be sometime in May. I'm not really sure where it will be held um, or when exactly. But I am thinking of, you know, participating by supporting the, the, the person and also probably doing some video in here and taking some footage. Right, so I think if more persons actually cook rabbit, more persons will eat it and, you know, the, 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 the market, the business will actually grow. Yeah, man, so... That's it from us here at JSH Rabbits. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave those in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, to share, and to subscribe to our channel. Um, thank you for watching, and see you in the next one.